So let me show you. Let me close this star screen. I want to load some tables into the Power Pivot. So if you want to create the visuals, let's load some tables. Click on load. Fine, once we load the tables, we can start creating the visuals. So I want to show what is the total sales amount we have. To show what is the total sales amount, I want to go and take one visual. I want to go and take one visual here. I'm taking a card visual, you can drag sales column. It will show what is the total sales I have. The total sales I have is 2.3 million. So when the total sales is 2.3 million, client is asking to show each category wise sales. Each category, how much sales amount we are getting. So we are selling three different categories in the company. We are selling products related to furniture. We are selling products related to office supplies. We are selling products related to technology. So you are telling all the sales is 2.3 million. I want to see each categorical value wise. Furniture, what is the sales? Office supplies, what is the sales? Technology, what is the sales? I want to show it. So this is a categorical column. Categorical column. And each categorical value wise, I want to see the sales. I want to see the sales. And even the total sales is 2.3 million. And I want to see each, I'm selling 17 different subcategories in the company. I want to see each subcategory wise, what is the sales value? Accessories, what is the sales? Appliances, what is the sales? Art, what is the sales? Binders, what is the sales? I want to show it. When you want to show each subcategory wise, what is the sales? Subcategory column is also a categorical column, guys. So the total value is there. I want to split the total value into each categorical value wise. It is also a categorical column. And even product name also a categorical column. Each product wise sales, each categorical value wise sales I want to show it. Whenever you need to show some categorical data, what are the visuals I need to use? I want to show categorical data. So what are the visuals I need to use? First visual in this category we'll discuss about is pie chart. Pie chart. So first, when you start learning about any visual, I said that we need to learn three things. First, learn the purpose of the visual. And second, learn the field wells it contains. Field wells. And third, you need to learn about formatting options. Formatting options formatting options these are the three things we need to learn about any visual first so i i, I am i'm starting learning about pie chart pie chart what is the purpose of it so pie chart is used for showing the categorical data visualizing the categorical data let me write here pie chart is used for visualizing the categorical data visualizing categorical data. Whenever we need to visualize some categorical data, we need to use pie chart. And it is not complete, guys. I'll add some more words here. Pie, pie chart is used for visualizing categorical data. I'll add some more words. So my client is asking to show each category wise sales. Category is a categorical column. Whenever you need to show category wise sales, I'm taking a pie chart. And pie chart contains four field wells case. Legend, details, values, tooltip. Here the question is where to drag the dimension columns and where to drag the fact columns. So I want to show category wise sales. Category is a dimension column. Where to drag it? Sales is a fact column. Where to drag it? Where to drag it? So always the dimension column you need to drag it to the first field well. First dimension column into the first field well. As I want to show category wise sales, I want to drag category to the legend first field well and first fact column always into the values and 
make a note guys lot of visuals here will contain the same four field wells how the pie chart contains four field wells here lot of visuals we have here will contains the same four field wells same four field wells if you can understand the pie chart thoroughly you can easily understand about other visuals you can easily understand about other field other visuals if you can understand the pie chart field wells how they will behave while learning about pie chart of field wells you need to learn where to drag dimension columns where to drag fact columns how to drag multiple dimension columns or multiple fact columns you need to see if you can understand pie chart field wells almost you can understand other visuals field wells easily right now just concentrate here so into the legend first dimension column first dimension column always into the first field well here i want to show category wise sales category wise sales so category is a dimension column sales is a fact column first dimension column always into the first field well in any visual mostly into the first field well we will drag the dimension column and first fact column into the values values right we are able to show category wise sales so total is 2.3 million and category technology it is doing 0.83 million or 84 million category furniture 0.74 million office supplier 0.72 million when sum this three will get 2.3 million okay so when you have one dimension column and one fact column there is no need of legend legend is occupying the space when you have only one dimension column one fact column there is no need of legend so you can directly write this categorical values names here technology the sales value furniture the sales value office supplies the sales value you can directly write it how can i write it go to the format go to the format i can format it i can stop the legend stop the legend so you can on you can stop it in the format when you want to make any changes to the visual we need to go to the formatting options and i need to change the label style here here itself i want to show category value also here itself if you want to show you want to go to the detail label there is a label style called category comma data value and you can change it what color you want you can choose it right so now i'm able to show each category what is the sales total sales each category what is the sales fine now the visual is looking good when i want to show sub category by sales sub category is also a categorical column sub category is also a categorical column can i go and drag the sub category here i'll remove the category i'll go and drag the sub category here i'll remove the category i'll go and drag the sub category so even sub category is also a categorical column when i try to show sub category by sales so are you able to read the values properly here so in the pie chart i'm not able to read the values properly and i want to show product name by sales product name is also a categorical column when i want to show product name by sales which contains lot of categorical values here category contains only three categorical values sub category contains 17 different categorical values and product name contains a uh, lot of categorical values when i want to show product name by sales just observe here i'll remove it i'll drag the product name i'll drag the product name when i drag the product name can i read anything here are you able to understand the data here no when i have product name i'm not able to understand the data but i have sub category even when i have sub category i'm not able to read the values properly when i have category yes i'm able to read the values properly here so now let me complete this pie chart is used for visualizing categorical data when we have less number of categorical values when we have less number of categorical values categorical values so if you ask me around around <coughs> less number of categorical values are nothing but around around five categorical values when you have around five categorical values around five categorical values when you have you can go and present it in the pie chart pie chart is used for visualizing the categorical data when we have less number of categorical values right so this is the purpose of the pie chart so now we we want to clearly understand about the field wells
So first one dimension column, one fact column, we, we seen it. Now I want to create a visual where I want to show category by sales and profit. Category by sales and profit. This time one dimension column and two fact columns. Category is one dimension column, sales is one fact column, profit is another fact column. But I want to show one dimension columns and two fact columns. How can I show it? So for that, let me show you. In the same pie chart, I want to show one dimension column and two fact columns, guys. What is happening? I want to show, just give me one second. I want to show one dimension columns and two fact columns. When I want to show one dimension columns and two fact columns, how can I show it? So let me take the pie chart. So first dimension column as usual into the legend, category into the legend. First fact column as usual into the values. First fact column sales as usual into the values. Fine. And the second fact column also I need to show it. Where I can show the second fact column? The second fact column also we can drag into the values case. Second fact column also we can drag into the values. So the second fact column is profit. I want to drag it to the values. Now when I look at this here, it is showing category wise sales and profit. We can format it. We can format it in the much better way. So here if you observe category technology the sales value is this profit value is this furniture sales value is this profit value is this office supplier sales is this profit is this so but one thing is how can you tell this this is the sales value and this is the profit value so I can make it a full screen mode how can you tell this is a sales value and this is a profit value so why don't you write here sales why don't you write here profit profit when you have uh, when you have one dimension columns and two fact columns legend is mandatory guys you do you are not supposed to stop it but one thing we can do it when you have the legend in the right hand side it is occupying almost 25 percent of visual space I can take this legend to the top side where it can occupy very less space how can you take this legend to the top side is go to the format Whenever you need to format anything related to legend, you need to go to the legend. When you go to the legend, there is a position. Now it is there in the right side center. Right side, this is right side. In the center you have it. Center you have it. Instead of that, I want to bring it to top center. Top center. Now the legend values went to top center, which saves space for us. Okay. Now, so here, technology whether it is sales or profit better to write sales or profit here if you want to change this you want to go to where label style you need to go to data de detail labels in the detail labels you need to go to label style you need to change it here you need to select category comma data value now now when I select category comma data value I can easily read the data now I can easily understand it technology technology orange color sales is this technology profit is this furniture sales is this furniture profit is this office suppliers sales is this office suppliers profit is this right like this so when you when you when you drag dimension columns and fact columns you need to go and choose right formatting options guys right formatting options end of the day when you share any visual with your client your client need to understand the data there easily understand the data there easily now if you want to show one dimension column and two fat columns how to show it we discussed this time I want to show one dimension columns and three fat columns I want to show category wise sales profit and quantity this time category wise sales comma profit and quantity quantity so when I want to show one dimension column and three fat columns how to show it in the pie chart when I want to show one dimension column and uh, three fat columns you can even drag the third fat column as usual guys you want to take the visual a pie chart first dimension column category column as usual into the legend first fact column into the sales values values and even second fact column also into the values 
even third fact column also into the values. So we know that we need to do some formatting here. Taking the legend to the top side, go to the format legend. So I'm not able to read this properly. Take the legend to the top center and go and change the label style to category comma data values so that you can read some values in the matter way. So here it is not that much recommended to keep the quantity but my intention is into the values you can drag multiple fact columns. My intention is just to show into the values you can you can place multiple fact columns here. Multiple fact columns. Multiple fact columns you can show it. When I, let, let me click on focus mode. You can see. So you can see technology. What is the sales? What is the profit? Or what is the quantity we sold? Quantity we sold. Right? So we can drag multiple fact columns into the values. Now this time I want to show category wise, region wise sales. Category wise, category comma, region wise sales. Region wise sales I want to show. This time two dimension columns, category is one dimension column, region is second dimension column and sales I want to show. When I want to show category wise, region wise sales, how to show it? So take this visual, same pie chart, as usual first dimension column into the legend and first fact column into the values and second dimension column where I need to drag it, a region. When I drag the region here, it will create a drill down visual. When I drag the region to the legend, it will create a drill down visual. I don't want a drill down visual. I don't want a drill down visual. I want to show category wise, region wise sales. You are showing complete technology. What is the sales? I want to split this complete sales. East region how much? 